would like to congratulate you on behalf of Disha Publication for this great achievement of yours. Thank you. We would like to ask you a few questions about your success story so that future aspirants can learn from them and benefit. Let's okay. start. Please tell us about your daily routine during JE mains preparation. How many hours did you put into preparation? For preparation, I allotted each subject a time more than 4 hours. Equal to 4 hours, I will say. In most of the time, I will be doing solving problems. Yeah. For chemistry, uh, I will read the NCRT textbooks. For physics, uh, I will refer class notes and I will do uh, EDO and previous year questions. For mathematics, I will follow the maths lecturer. How did you manage your coaching and class 11 and 12 preparations together? Did you feel that was tug of war situation between coaching and school? For intermediate public examinations, one month before the examinations, I have started preparing for the exams. The problem was Sanskrit and English. Because math, physics and chemistry, I am familiar with the intermediate problems, so I can manage them. But English and Sanskrit are some a bit difficult. So I feel somewhat uncomfortable during the preparation. But Sanskrit and English are supported us and before the examination, we have learned everything and scored better in our intermediate exams also. Do you feel that one can clear his JE mains exam referring only to his basics and NCRT books? No, I can't say he, he or she can clear the examination only by referring to basics and NCRT textbooks because you should have a minimum knowledge about what type and what level questions are going to be asked in the JE mains examination. For JE mains examination, you should and you must do the previous year questions so you will get a basic knowledge about what type and what level questions are going to be asked. You should definitely read the NCRT chemistry textbooks to score better in JE chemistry, JE mains chemistry. Which subject was your strong subject and which was the one in which you struggled the most? What I feel is mathematics is the subject in which I am strong and uh, according to the paper, according to the question paper, any subject can, I, I, I will struggle in any subject according to the paper. Mainly, mostly, I have struggled in chemistry because it is having a vast syllabus, I am forgetting everything, so I memorized a large number of, a more number of times, so I could clear the J advanced examination easily. What differently you prepared for JE main and advanced? Does one need to keep an approach of preparing for JE advanced since the beginning? Yes, what I feel is uh, uh, the student should start uh, preparing for JE advanced examination from the beginning because it is the difficult e exam than JE mains. JE mains was a normal exam in, in which uh, the questions are just normal but in JE advanced the questions are somewhat creative and you should do so much of hard work for solving them easily. My preparation for JE mains and JE advance were different because for JE mains I have mainly concentrated on NCRT chemistry and I have solved the previous year questions and I have also read the chemistry practical manual for JA mains examination but for JA advanced examination I have totally changed my plan I have revised my classwork thoroughly and I have practiced a lot How important are PYQs? What I feel is for a student who is starting his preparation he should know how the questions are being asked in the JA advanced examination so he should do all the previous year questions, mains and advanced, so he will get a knowledge of what type and what level questions are going to be asked in the examination. Coming to my preparation, after completing the syllabus, I have started my revision number one. In revision number one, I have mainly done the previous year questions 
which are Disha's 45 years previous years IIT advanced and mains questions which are errorless and that gave me a knowledge of what type and what level questions are going to be asked in the examination and then I have planned for my preparation. Coming to Disha's 45 years errorless J advanced and mains questions they are divided into topic wise and chapter wise so when you are learning the topic you can do them it will be convenient and easy for you to do the topics which you have done you have learned this day this this has previous year questions is repetitive revision important or the student should focus on more and more problem solving depending on the students memory power and uh, creative skills uh, repetitive reason and problem solving both are important but uh, you should revise uh, one or two times because the J syllabus is a vast thing so you should revise one or two times so you can memorize all the things and before before writing the J advanced examination you should mainly focus on the problem solving because J advanced examination is the examination in which the questions are somewhat creative and you should think in a in different ways to solve them so you should mainly focus on problem solving so that you will be able to crack the point the basic on which the problem is developed what did you do in the last 15 days before the JE advanced test before the last 15 days of the examination I have focused on writing the exams which will experience me the exam fear and uh, boost my speed and uh, I have read uh, NCRT chemistry test books which I feel will improve my knowledge and uh, give me confidence to write the exam. What was your mantra to keep yourself calm and concentrated for JE knowing it's such a difficult test? How did you handle the pressure and not let it affect your studies? Because I know the JE was a difficult test, I thought that I should be calm and concentrated to do my best and whatever the result will be, I should accept it. So, because I know that I am having enough knowledge and talent to solve most of the JE advanced questions, I myself kept calm so that I can do well in the examination. Coming to the stress point, every week in Sunday I will watch a movie and I will listen some songs which reduces the stress and keeps me concentrated in the next week. How were you feeling on JE Advanced Day? My feeling on JE Advanced Day was undescribable because I am not having enough confidence that I will clear the exam and I will get a seat in Bombay CSC. So I kept myself calm and concentrated to do well in the examination and I thought whatever the result will be I should accept it. What was your exam giving strategy for JE mains and JE advanced? For JE mains and JE advanced my exam giving strategy was dif different. After writing the JE mains I have changed my J advanced strategy for J mains first after opening the paper I will see all the questions and then I will start with chemistry then mass and I will go to physics I will do the questions which will be taking less time and then I will come for a second round and then I will do the questions which are taking more time and then I will complete the paper for JE advanced examination the strategy should not be a fixed thing because depending on the paper you should change your strategy the subject which you feel the tough should be done at the last and the subject which you feel the easy should be started at the first so you can be you can score good I have planned a strategy for my examination I have started with chemistry and then to physics and finally I have done the maths. Since the mathematics paper was difficult, 
doing it at the last helped me and gave me the result what was your strategy for more than one correct option my strategy for more than one correct option is simple if you know the if you know that exactly the option is correct then go for it if you are having doubt then just leave it partial marks are better than getting negative marks which subject do you think need the most time or which subject poses as biggest challenge in the exam the subject which needs most time for the preparation is chemistry because it is having a vast syllabus you have to cover many points and you have to memorize all of it you may forget it and so you should read it more than one time you have to read it two or three times so you should memorize all it all of it and you can score better in the examination how did your family help you in this achievement my family supported me a lot for this achievement because even though i get less marks in the examination they will not put any stress on me and they believe that i can do it so the support from the family made me calm and concentrated on studies and for achieving this result what was the thing that you feel or think you did different than others that helped you achieve such rank the thing that made me achieving this rank is after completion of my examination i will focus on my errors and i will try to solve the problems which i have done wrong on my own i will give some time for it and then after i am not getting it i will go to the lecturer the other thing which made me achieving this rank is i will not bother about the what others are doing i will focus on my work and i will complete it and i will keep myself motivated for the examination after completion of my syllabus for pyqs i have referred dishash 45 years j iit j advance and chapter which are chapter wise and topic wise solid papers it contains iit j advance papers from 1978 to 2022 and past 10 year j main papers from 2013 to 2022 it helped me a lot uh, for students who are preparing for je mains 2024 and 2025 i i am advising that you should refer dishas 144 years je main papers which helps you a lot for je mains examination you refer dishas 144 je main papers which helps you Get